cracks in brick, cracks in block, sticking windows or doors, settling or sinking foundation, it's a fact. Foundation problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. It's the weather briefing video for November 26, 2022. Rain moves in later today with some thunder possible. We'll dry out by Sunday afternoon and stay dry until late on Tuesday before we could see a risk of strong storms. Here's what I have for you in today's video. A center of low pressure will start off the day to our southwest and will be moving northeast throughout the day. We'll have some light shower activity start to move into the west and northwestern parts of the area during the latter part of the morning, with the main bulk of the activity not moving into the state until around the 4 to 6 p.m. window. Showers and storms will move through the area during the evening and overnight hours. No severe weather is expected for central Alabama, but a couple of storms may become severe in south Alabama, and the Storm Prediction Center has a level 1 marginal risk up for those locations. Highs in the mid to upper 60s. A wind advisory goes into effect tonight at 6 p.m. and will go until 6 a.m. Sunday morning for all of central Alabama for the potential of gusty winds up to 40 miles per hour so be sure to secure those outdoor objects, especially those holiday decorations. Much of the activity will be out of here by sunrise on Sunday morning, but we can't rule out a few leftover sprinkles over the north and east parts of the area. Skies will be partly sunny with highs in the lower 60s to the lower 70s. We'll have pretty nice weather across central Alabama on Monday with mostly sunny skies and highs in the 60s. On Tuesday, a potent storm system will be heading in our direction that will be bringing an enhanced risk of severe storms to portions of Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas, with a slight risk reaching all the way to the Alabama state line. For us, we'll stay dry through the daylight hours with showers and storms moving into the northwestern parts of the area by the evening hours. At this point, no severe weather risks have been issued but a new outlook will be out just after this video releases. Highs in the mid-60s to the lower 70s. That system will continue to work through central Alabama on Wednesday that will keep rain and storms in the forecast. A few strong storms will be possible and maybe one or two may become severe with gusty winds being the main threat. Heavy rain will probably be the main story as some locations look to get well over an inch of rain, potentially two inches. Highs in the mid-60s to the mid-70s. Much cooler and drier air moves into the area for Thursday, and skies will be sunny with highs only in the upper 40s to the upper 50s for most. And at the end of the forecast period on Friday, we'll continue to stay dry with mostly sunny skies and highs in the mid-50s to the mid-60s. And now taking a look at the tropics. All is quiet across the Atlantic Basin, and no new tropical systems are expected to form over the next five days. The end of the Atlantic hurricane season is on Wednesday, November 30th. That will do it for today's video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will have your next video out tomorrow morning. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin. Have a great day, stay safe, and God bless. Sinking driveway? Call Alabama Professional Services. Settling patio? Call APS. Uneven pool deck? Call APS. Collapsing stoop? Call APS. Cracking sidewalk? That's right, call APS. It's a fact, concrete problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today.